comes from. And where it goes. To find out, I went to the North Tonawanda Pumping Station and Water Filtration Plant located on Tonawanda Island. Established in 1886, it originally pumped water right from the Niagara River directly to our houses. The water intake is in the middle of the river and sucks in about 5 million gallons a day. That's 3,400 gallons per minute or close to 2 billion gallons a year. That's a lot of water. The first thing that is added is aluminum sulfate which bonds with dirt particles so they drop out of the water. Here the dirt particles drop to the bottom and clean water moves on to the next step. These are called settling tanks where dirt particles settle out at the bottom and are taken out. Potassium permanganate is added to kill any algae, chlorine kills germs and bacteria, and fluoride is added because it's good for your teeth. In this room, the water is filtered through sand to eliminate any remaining particles. There are 12 sand filtering bays that are closely monitored. Our drinking water is tested several times a day for cleanliness, pH, bacteria, chlorine levels, and more. Now the water is ready to be pumped out to the city. The first stop is the Tolner Avenue storage tank, which holds 4 million gallons of water. Then onto the Erie Avenue Tower, which holds 1 million gallons. The water is pumped up into the 112 foot high reservoir so that gravity can pull it down. This creates enough natural water pressure to push it throughout the city, into your houses and out your faucet. That's where water comes from. This is where it goes. This is the North Tonawanda Wastewater Treatment Plant, located on River Road, and it's where all our wastewater goes. The whole process is monitored very carefully, and they have their own laboratory on hand to test the water at each stage. First, all the sewage comes through this big pipe, and the large solid pieces get grounded, smashed, and shredded up into small pieces. Ferric chloride is added to remove any phosphorus, which will settle out in the next stage. Chemicals are added to help any solids settle out. This is called a primary clarifier. Most of the remaining solids settle at the bottom and are removed here. This arm slowly scrapes the sludge off the bottom and skims the top. The sludge is removed while the wastewater continues on. The sludge is heated within these two buildings called digesters to about 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which stabilizes it but gives off carbon dioxide and methane gas. Next, the sludge moves to this machine called a belt filter press, where any remaining liquid is squeezed out of it. The end product moves along the conveyor belt to a waiting dumpster and is eventually sent out to a landfill. Here, the wastewater is filtered through sand, which removes most of the remaining small solids. Then, it is filtered through these huge carbon filters, which remove most remaining microorganisms. The last step in the process to clean our sewage is to add chlorine. This will disinfect and kill any remaining germs or bacteria. After that, it's ready to be pumped back to where it first came from, out into the Niagara River. It's very clean, but still undrinkable. And there you have it, our North Tonawanda water system. Enjoy!